and today I just wanted to tell you a story about getting my Pentium 3 machine back up and running. Actually, I probably haven't told you guys, but uh, a couple of months ago, the computers just stopped working, just stopped posting, stopped loading up into Windows, and I was really gutted because it's my favorite PC. Uh, it's got the most games loaded on it. It's what I use generally all the time, and it just stopped working. The uh, We push a power button, uh, the lights would come on, the PSU would spin up, the fans would spin up, and there'd be nothing. There'd be no um, no image on the screen. So there's a little bit of troubleshooting that I had to do, and I guess this video is just telling you about if you have the same problem, or if you push the power button, the power comes on, but nothing comes up on the screen, then it's a simple thing to troubleshoot, and hopefully you can fix your old machine too. So these machines are about 20 years old now, so things are always going to go wrong. Now generally when you have the symptoms of this, so there were no beat codes, so there was nothing coming up on the screen, but the PSU was coming on and the, and the fans on the motherboard were coming on too. So the main three things that I guess you need to check, first of all, are um, RAM, PSU, and probably graphics card after that. So I actually did it the wrong way around. I actually thought, oh, maybe there's a problem with my graphics card. I've had a graphics card fail in this machine already before. So I kind of swapped it out. I've got an AGP Reva TNT2 in there. I swapped it out for, uh, I've got an uh, old Matrox uh, card. I tried that, an AGP one. Nothing came up there. I tried it without the card, obviously, and actually got the beep codes. And I also tried uh, the PCI Stealth, which uh, I still haven't got working in the other computer. Um, all three of them, either if they weren't in there, then I would get the beep code saying there's no graphics card uh, but when I had it in there same thing nothing would come up on the screen the next thing that I did uh, which was actually the thing that uh, fixed it uh, generally was I swapped out a piece of RAM so this is the original piece of RAM that was in there this is a PC 100 128 megabyte stick looks good on there but uh, obviously mm -hmm. when I took this out and swapped it for another piece of uh, similar RAM all of a sudden the computer started up, uh, well, started up straight away and I got uh, a screen up on the monitor so I started getting input through uh, on the monitor as well. So that was it. I guess the RAM had gone bad. Um, there was another step in the troubleshoot though because when it started to post it actually got stuck on the uh, CPU piece. Maybe when I changed some things around, maybe I knocked the uh, Pentium 3 um, processor a little bit, I just had to reseat that a little bit, just push that down, make sure that was in correctly. And now my computer is back up and running. So I took the opportunity to put in a new coin cell battery as well because I hadn't had one in here and it's constantly coming up at the start saying I needed to uh, uh, accept the CMOS defaults. But now I put a, a new coin cell in there so it's actually keeping all the BIOS settings and it's keeping the time in Windows as well. But I am so happy now that this is going. I almost, I almost swapped it out because I have a spare Pentium 3 500. I have a, um, I have a, an old Vectra HP desktop, which has onboard graphics, a G200 Matrox. I almost had that and thought about using that as my main kind of retro PC, but I'm glad that I did a little bit of troubleshooting. And yes, so all the problem was was bad RAM. The RAM has gone bad, so. If you have this problem where you've got a machine that seems to power up but just nothing comes up on the monitor, and by the way this is the monitor detecting a signal but just not displaying anything, um, then try swapping out your RAM as the first thing because it does go bad. So there you go. Thanks for listening. Um, I'll do some more videos coming up soon. As a little bit of a taster, look at this device. This is a uh, Sidewinder Strategic Commander. I picked that up for free off Marketplace, off the Facebook Marketplace. I'll do a little bit more of a video on that once I've got that up and running now that my computer's working. So uh, stay tuned and I will catch you in the next one. Catch you later. Bye.